Hello and welcome to WooCommerce plugin series of Quick Tips. In this series of videos, I will show you all the details about WooCommerce plugin to create e-commerce website. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe to the channel to get the quick tips on website design, search engine optimization and social media marketing tools. So let's start with the video. So in the last video, we installed the best free WordPress theme for WooCommerce website. Now this theme came with some dummy products. So you can see those dummy products here. And later on, we are going to delete these dummy products. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add a simple product to the WooCommerce website. And in the upcoming videos, I'll show you how to add a variable products and downloadable products and service products. So let's start with this video and we are going to add a simple product. Now, I'm already logged into the WordPress website and here you will see the products tab under the WooCommerce. So let's go to the products and here you will see some dummy products that came with the free theme. Now we are going to add a new product. So let's click on add new. Okay. Now we are going to add a, a simple shirt. So let's uh, name the product. I'm going to name it as new shirt and let's name it as number one. Now this section will uh, show the description of the product. So let's add some description here. Okay, I am adding some description of the shirt. So this is the description of the shirt. Now you can see this is a simple product. Now here you will see different types of products, group products, variable product, external or affiliate product. We will go through all these products one by one. So let's start with the simple product only. Now this is the regular price. Right now, I have selected rupees as the currency and I'm going to put this. Uh, so the price of this shirt will be 500 rupees and there will be a discount and I want to sell it at 400 rupees. Now you can change the currency here. I'll show you how. Now here you can go to WooCommerce, then go to settings. Here you can see the currency. You can change the currency from here. Right now it is on rupees, so leave it as it is. If you want to change it to dollar, you can change it from there. Now, you can see the regular price and this is the sale price. You can also schedule this price. Let me show you how. You can click on it and it will show from what date to what date you want to sell it for this price. Let's say today is uh, 22, so let's select 22 and I want to keep this discount uh, for next seven days so I'll select seven days after seven days it will show the price this price will be shown now during this period it will show 400 rupees so this is how you can schedule the price also right now I can cancel this one okay now here is the short description of this product let me add some description here all right so this is the description of the product okay now here you will see the categories of this product there are some categories already present there i'm going to add a new category it will be named as shirt and this will be the parent category shirt click on add new category okay so this is the category of this product okay now here you will see some virtual option downloadable these are different types of products you don't need to select if you are not selling it virtual okay this is a simple product that you can ship now click on publish let me show you how this product will look okay now let's see how this product will look all right now this is how it is going to look now what we need to do this is the short description you will see it here this is the short description showing here now this is the main description that we have added here okay now we are going to add an image for this one so here you will see product image click on set product image and upload the product image okay so this is the product image now let me save it and refresh it and show you how this product will look now now you will see the image of the product also when you hover the mouse here you will see different section of the product you can click on it and it will show you can magnify it okay now there is one more option here you can add gallery for the product you can click on it add more images for this product 
okay now let's save it update it now refresh it now you will see all the three images here okay you can select this one it will be shown here now click on this one it will be shown here also when you click on it you can see them one by one all right so we got the images of the product now here here you will see the category and this is the product name now here you can choose the number of products okay now this is the description reviews if you want to add reviews you can add them also i'll show you how now this is inventory section now you can see this is the code you can refer to this particular product now you can see that sq refers to a stock kick a stock keeping unit this is a kind of identifier for each product okay if you want you can enable this if you don't want you can just keep it now if you want to manage stocks you can click on manage stock if you have suppose 20 pieces of this shirt you can manage it here you can say that i have 20 pieces left and uh, when the stock is over you can block the customer or you you can allow the customer to buy even if the stock is uh, over and you can later arrange the shirts and you can sell them so uh, this is uh, what happens when you when the stock is over you can select this option do not allow if you want to allow you can allow that one and this is the option for low stock threshold let's uh, set it to five so whenever there the stock is below five it will send you an email and it will notify you that this particular stock is uh, uh, below the threshold so you can arrange more shirts and uh, you can update the stock quantity also now you can see that sold individually so when you check this box it will not allow customer to buy more than one product okay at one time now let me show you how does this look now refresh it now here you will see 20 in stock so we have 20 shirts in stock and now you will see that option to increase the product quantity is gone from here okay let me show let me uncheck this box update it and refresh it here now you will see that option to increase the quantity is back again okay so this is how you can use the inventory shipping is uh, completely different we will be covering shipping section in the upcoming videos all right there are shipping classes that we will be creating in the upcoming videos you can see link products here upsells upsells are the products which you recommend instead of the currently viewed product for example let me try this one here uh, we already have few products here so let's see if we can add it here okay let's try this one printed dark blue i'll mention it here you can simply try, start typing printed let's take any one of them okay and save it and you will see where it comes okay now this let's refresh it and here you will see that upsells product is here okay now let me show you the other option is also there cross sales okay let's put something different here let's try the mug refresh uh, save it now refresh it now the cross sale product will not come here you need to add to cart and then go to view cart now you here you will see the coffee mug that we added as cross sales all right so this is how you can choose the up sales and cross sales product now attribute section is for the variable products like suppose you have uh, this kind of shirt the shirt we are selling it has different size small large medium as well as it might have different colors like right now we have shown white color you can add blue color you can add black color so these are the variables of product that we are going to add to this particular product so that will be covered in the next video 
now advanced if you want to put some note here you can add note here and these are the advanced option that we don't need really now these are the product page settings if you want a right sidebar you can select a right sidebar for this particular product let's update it and let's see the product again here you will see an option for right sidebar right now there is nothing in the right sidebar we will need to configure the right sidebar and that we will cover in the upcoming videos also so this is the video how you can add a simple product to the WooCommerce website in the next video I'll show you how to create variables of this particular product and how to show variables of the products so see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips